effective coordination between helicopter crews and pilots is critical to mission execution, survivability, and success. The non-rated crew member manned module, or NCM-3, is a virtual, transportable simulator designed to train helicopter crew coordination, build skills and proficiency, and emphasize safety in a realistic training environment. The NCM-3 was developed for the U.S. Army's Program Executive Office for Simulation, Training, and Instrumentation, or PEO STRI, by SAIC to interoperate with the Aviation Combined Arms Tactical Trainer, or AVCAT, and support individual, crew, and collective training for pilots and non-rated crew members, performing just as they would in the real world. Major benefits of the non-rated crew member man module is it allows the Army to train our non-rated crew members in dangerous, expensive tasks in a safe, realistic, virtual environment. The non-rated crew member man module allows the Army to train our non-rated crew members in crew, flight, aerial gunnery, hoist, and sling load related tasks. The NCM-3 program also reduces wear and tear and operational costs associated with using actual helicopters and saves money on fuel and ammunition, providing a cost-effective training solution. The NCM-3 delivers mobile virtual training in a 53-foot tractor trailer to crew members anywhere in the continental U.S. The trailer supports two aircraft, UH-60 Blackhawk and CH-47 Chinook, and nine simulator configurations, five in the forward module and four in the aft. The NCM-3 employs state-of-the-art virtual and tactile technology in all training configurations. The NCM-3 integrates the actual feel, sounds, and experience of each crew position with a high-fidelity virtual world inside the helmet-mounted display, or HMD, replicating the noise and physical cues of actual helicopter operations, from wind resistance and vibration to the thumping of rotary blades and communications. The NCM-3 HMD delivers a realistic virtual environment for individual task training and crew coordination without the limitations of a projected screen. The HMD mounts on the Army flight helmet by replacing the night vision goggles or NVG visor with the NCM-3 quick release visor mount. The HMD immerses soldiers in the virtual environment for day and night task training in all weather conditions. The NCM-3 hoist operator position has the same window shape as the UH-60 and a realistic physical hoist mechanism that provides different cable motion and resistance based on the cargo, wind, and weather conditions just like the real world. Soldiers train with pilots to execute medical evacuations using jungle penetrators or rescue stretchers. The NCM-3 uses realistic M240H machine guns with high-fidelity pneumatic recoil for both UH-60 and CH-47 door gunnery positions and the CH-47 ramp gunner, so trainees experience the behavior and vibration of the actual weapon. Non-rated crew members communicate with each other and the pilots, survey and take appropriate action against targets with the common operational virtual environment provided by PEO Stry Synthetic Environment Core, or SE Core, and one semi-automated forces, or one SAF, program offices. The NCM-3 can be reconfigured to support either UH-60 or CH-47 sling load hatch operator position. The hatch is nearly the same shape and size as the helicopter hatch. The HMD provides a virtual world of high fidelity models, powered by the virtual simulation architecture, DIS protocols and enumerations to train on sling load operations. Non-rated crew members coordinate with pilots in conducting vertical supply replenishment, sustainment, and other sling load related tasks from inside the virtual environment. The CH-47 bubble window supports surveillance and observation. Reconfiguration of crew positions takes 15 minutes to change from sling load to ramp gunner and less than one hour to reconfigure for aircraft changes. Rapid reconfiguration accelerates delivery of training to soldiers in the field. NCM-3 represents the third suite of AVCAT. The NCM-3 can tether to an AVCAT suite using a common terrain database, common moving models, and other common virtual components provided by SE Core. NCM-3 and AFCAT also use the common OneSAF. These common products allow NCM-3 crew members to train with AFCAT pilots using fully correlated visual and audio cues. 
The scalable architecture of the NCM-3 enables collective crew and pilot training with the Close Combat Tactical Trainer, or CCTT, and other ground and air trainers in the same common environment. The NCM-3 and AVCAT are linked through the Virtual Simulation Architecture Distributed Information System, or VDIS, enabling them to pass position, location, and entity information back and forth and communicate as one connected entity in space. Two NCM-3 Manned Instructor Operating Stations, or IOS, allow instructors to act as pilots and lead training exercises. The IOS provides performance monitoring, record management, system and scenario configuration. The Integrated After Action Review, or AAR, records all trainee actions, providing real-time feedback, replays, and automatic scoring. SAIC developed the MCM-3, providing the design, systems engineering, manufacturing and assembly, and integrating the technical components into a complete training system to meet warfighter needs. The NCM-3 concept can be replicated across a variety of helicopter variants and fixed-wing platforms. Effective coordination between helicopter crews and pilots is crucial to mission execution, survivability, and performance. NCM-3 is the Army's program of record to train our non-rated crew members in critical individual, crew, and collective tasks following the Army's crawl, walk, run methodology. 